I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. I have the privilege of restoring lots of really special pianos, and I and I have I have had that privilege over over lots of years of, of piano restoration, and this is definitely up there. This is definitely one of them. The uh, um, probably in the in the upper echelon pantheon of of pianos that we've restored. Really, really uh, special instrument. Okay, this is a 1924 Erard. This was sold, this particular serial number was sold in Cannes in, at a dealership in Cannes in 1925. And it had a, a history, a, a pretty illustrious history. I'll just glance, gloss over it quickly. We're not exactly sure where it was between 1925 and 1940. But in, in 1940, when, when the Nazis occupied France, they, uh, they, they actually had um, a department that was basically in charge of looting art and literature and uh, music instruments and basically anything of value and culture from all of the countries that they were occupying. So, so France was a, obviously a big one and then other countries as well that they were occupying, Norway and, and uh, um, uh, well, occupying Belgium and Denmark, Austria, I guess you could, they were kind of occupying um, Poland, all of those areas. Anyway, they were, Fra France was probably the biggest. This piano was in that, was in that, uh, in that theft, in that giant organized theft. And there were, there were, what would you call it, collection points, I guess, throughout France where all of these artifacts were sent and one of them was, uh, was in Paris. So this piano was, was documented to have, have been sent to Paris and um, uh, was stored with, with a bunch of other Erards. They were all cataloged, of course, as, as the Nazis were very, very organized. And, uh, and this, so this piano was, was stolen and looted. And, uh, and then after the war, it, it went to the Bibliothèque Polonaise, which is not on the same island in the Seine in Paris as Notre Dame, but is on the other island right next to it. And that's where it spent, what, uh, 50 years? And then in 1993, it was purchased by an Israeli-American filmmaker slash pianist from New York who purchased in 1993, then and then uh, a few years later, uh, 1999, I believe, she donated it to a church in Las Vegas. And this, this piano was in Las Vegas for about 20 years. And then after that, Levi Strauss, who, who was the uh, client who had us restore this piano, he, he uh, acquired it from this church in Las Vegas and, uh, and had us restore it. In, and we've, we've had it here for a couple of years now. And this piano is spectacular. Okay, first let's, let's just get a few shots of the exterior. The veneer work on this piano is, is absolutely gorgeous. Erard, French maker, is renowned for their veneer. Rosewood, and have a look at this on the side here. This pattern, absolutely gorgeous. And let's look at the uh, yeah back here the same thing. More of that pattern. Another one here, and these legs are beautiful. Here's the lyre, also very beautiful. <laughs> a little dusty. Beautiful craftsmanship, and that's a big beefy lyre. Have a look.
look in there. All of that is beautifully redone here at Brigham Larson Pianos. Very proud of that work. This plate is refinished with an automotive paint. Very smooth, like glass. Beautiful to look at. The soundboard is original. It's all been repaired. You can see these little dots. That's where the ribs have been reconnected wherever there was any separation of the ribs and the soundboard that's been reconnected and then and doweled in order to ensure that those ribs never separate from the soundboard again. And then if you look closely you can see some some repairs in the in the soundboard where there were some cracks. But that soundboard is beautiful. New dampers, all new strings. This is an unusual, does it, well, pretty usual, pretty normal for, for European pianos, but not for American pianos, to have each string individually tied. And that's a, that's a really beautiful stringing job where all of those, all of those loops are identical. That's a really nice stringing job there. All the agraphs have been polished looking nice and let's have a look under the music desk the plate and over there you can see the hammers and, and the action that have been replaced a lot of the action components, so actions were, were more or less standardized, at least in the United States, by about 1880, and where this piano was in 1924. The, uh, and and it, it has an action that, that I guess you could say lost in the race to find the best action. Those action parts, for the most part, are no longer available. We were able to get hammers. Of course, these hammers had to be sort of custom adjusted but they sound great as you'll hear in just a second so that entire action has been redone rebuilt and it feels really nice now i guess i'll leave this this music desk off for now there's the the decal that's an original that's the original decal. We were able to salvage that. And then the keys. These are ivory. And the, you can see things like that where it's it's been cracked. You can't really do anything about that. Those ivories have been reworked. Ivory actually sounds a lot like wood, or it works. It works a lot like wood, where you can sand it and and uh, buff it, and it feels feels really nice. Let's listen to this piano.
piano probably deserves to be uh, deserves some Chopin or some Liszt, but uh, that's not in my capability. So I think I'll go to the other extreme, play something that that most Gerard enthusiasts would probably feel a sacrilege, but well, it's my art. of show of, uh, of of Erard would feel about that lack of Chopin on their Erard but there it is the piano is awesome it's a museum piece as far as I'm concerned very proud of this work it was an honor to work on on this piano thank you Levi Strauss for uh, for entrusting us with this incredible instrument <laughs>